divide and simplify the answer and write and write it, I guess, write as a mixed number. So we have 4 divided by 2 thirds. And we've seen when you divide by the fraction, it's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is going to be the same thing as 4 as 4 times the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2, just swapping the bottom and the top number, the denominator and the numerator. Now, Four, you, you, you know, we've seen this before, where we're saying, okay, well, if we know how to multiply fractions. You multiply the numerators times each other and the denominator times each other, but four doesn't look like a fraction. But you always have to remember a whole number can be written as that same whole number over one. Four is the same thing as four over one. And now this becomes a kind of a plain vanilla multiplying fractions problem. And so we could just multiply it out. We could just say that this is four times three, which would be twelve, over one times two which would be 2. Or we could, we could divide right now. Well, we could, let's do it both ways, actually. So we could say this is 4 times 3 in the numerator, which is 12, over 1 times 2 in the denominator, which is 2. Now what is 12 divided by 2? 12 over 2 is the same thing as 12 divided by 2. Well, this is equal to, this is equal to 6. Or another way we could think about it, another way to think about it is divide the numerator by 2. Well, that would give you 6. And divide the denominator by 2. That'll give you 1. 6 over 1, which is the same thing as 6. Now the other thing we could have done at this stage right here, we said, well, look, we have things in the numerator divisible by 2. We have things in the denominator divisible by 2. So let's divide both by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So it becomes 2 times 3, which is 6, over 1 times 1, over 1 or this is equal to 6. Now, this could be a fun one to visualize. So let's think about what this, this is. 4 divided by 2 thirds. Let's, do four, let's draw four boxes here. Let me do this. So let's say I have 1, 2, let me do it, separate them a little bit. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you could view 4 divided by 2 thirds as let's divide these four boxes into groups of 2 thirds of a box and figure out how many groups do we have. So where are our groups? So let's see, if we want, the first group's going to have 2 thirds of a box in it. So the first group is going to look like this. It's going to have 2 thirds of a box. Now the next group is going to have 2 thirds of a box. So it'll have 1 third from here. And then it'll have 1 third from the next box. Then the next group is going to have 2 thirds of the box. There's 2 thirds left right over here. Then the, box, the group after that will have another 2 thirds of a box. That is that right over there. Then the next group will have 1 third from here and 1 third from here. So it'll have 1 third from here and 1 third from here. That'll be 2 thirds. And then the last group will have 2 thirds, the leftover on this box right here. Now, how many groups of 2 thirds do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6. 4 can be divided into 6 groups of 2 thirds. So it's just like regular division, sometimes a little harder to visualize because we're dealing with fractions.